Molly from Nauticus and today to celebrate National Public Lands Day I am out here on the Elizabeth River Trail in Norfolk Virginia um, it goes right past Nauticus so I figured what better way to celebrate Public Lands Day than to spend the day on the Elizabeth River Trail um, and see what kind of stuff we can see out here uh, then later we're gonna go back into the office and I'm gonna show you guys how to use the iNaturalist app to help identify different plants and animals in your local uh, area. All right, well, it's a beautiful day, so let's get going. One thing that I love about the Elizabeth River Trail is that it goes through so many different neighborhoods uh, throughout Norfolk. So today, I thought it would be cool for the video um, to go to some parts of the trail that I'm not that familiar with. Uh, so I'm in my car, I'm gonna buckle up and head uh, to a different part of the trail that I've never been to before. Uh, and we're gonna check it out. So here we go. Okay, so to use the Seek app with iNaturalist, you have to get pictures of things you see. So I'm gonna use my phone and just grab some pictures of things that I see on well, along the trail, along different points of the trail. Um, my hair looks really great. It's nice and windy today. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to just collecting some images all along the trail and figuring out what kind of stuff lives around here. Alright you guys, this is Molly. I am back in the office now and I am going to show you guys how to use the iNaturalist app. Load some of my pictures from the Elizabeth River Trail today and we can work on identifying those species and checking out what I saw. The first thing that you're going to want to do uh, is go and open your iNaturalist app. So it's a little white app with a bird on the icon. So what uh, iNaturalist does is creates kind of a log of things that you've seen so you can actually click through and upload your own uh, pictures and things like that. So what I'm going to do is hit at the bottom of the screen here. I hope you can see that. I'm going to hit observe. It's that camera button. So we hit observe. Now that's going to open your camera. You can see me in it. Hi. And so what you're going to want to actually do, since I already took the photos, I'm going to hit those photos in the bottom corner. And I actually already made an album uh, in my phone of all of my pictures from the Elizabeth River Trail today. So I'm going to uh, pick one of these, this picture of a tree that I took. So we have a nice tree right there. So what you do is click next on the bottom of your screen. And then this is gonna pop up and it's gonna be all kinds of different options. It tells you um, the date, when you saw it, where you saw it. I have the uh, location settings turned on for my phone and I don't know if you can see that, but it tells you kind of where everything was. Um, so since my location settings are turned on for iNaturalist, all I have to click is right here. It says, what did you see? And you click it and what that does is generates a search based on the image that you uploaded and based on um, your location. So having your location turned on for this app is really, really helpful. And so that will use the pictures um, and give you a nice list of different things it could be. Um, this uh, matches the best with the American Sycamore. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that so it tags. So it creates this whole post, it has what you saw, where you saw it, all of that. Um, so once I have all that information uploaded, I'm gonna go ahead and hit share. And what that does is uploads uh, the American Sycamore into my main menu here. So I already put 
a couple different species that I saw this morning um, in the app and I have a nice little list going for me now. And so what you can also do in this app that's really cool that I really love is you can hit explore um, in the bottom left hand corner and a map is going to pop up and the map is going to show a bunch of different little pins, little location pings. Um, and that's going to show us what other app users have seen in this area. Um, so that's a really cool way to kind of explore what's around you um, just from looking at your phone. So you can see what other people have seen, where they've seen it, when they saw it. So that's a good way to get what time of year people saw things. Um, and so that is a really cool feature of the iNaturalist app. And then you can exit out and go back anytime. And if you hit the me icon right here, that will bring you back to your profile. And that's going to give you that list of things that you saw. Um, so it's a really good way to keep track of, you know, keep a nature log without having to carry around a notebook and guidebooks. iNaturalist is a great way to kind of log what you're seeing um and be able to keep track of things that way so this has been a very fun national public lands day um i hope that you guys are inspired to get out there go to your local parks go check out the elizabeth river trail and as always uh come visit us at nauticus and i hope you guys really enjoy using the iNaturalist app it's a great way to kind of mix technology with nature and really get to know all the species that are local to your backyard all right, bye guys, have a great day.